Next event in the pool, the women's 200 meter butterfly. This will feature Summer McIntosh, the double world champion in this event. The challengers on either side of her, Zavros, Forrester, Gormley, Massey, everybody wants to get on the podium. And they want to get on the podium in the second or the third spot because they know they're not touching McIntosh for the gold medal top of the podium. Let's meet the ladies here. Jean-Bierre Sasseville, originally out of Chatham, Ontario, was ninth in the 100-meter butterfly earlier this week. She's 21 years of age. Angelina Wang swims out of the Markham Aquatic Club just up the street here under coach Sean Baker, only 16 years of age. Mia West, 18, out of Winnipeg. Her mom was a Canadian limpin, her dad was a Danish, Danish international swimmer. Sports Manitoba's 2021 Junior Athlete of the Year. This is Leanna Fack. She swims out of Langley, BC. She was sixth in the 100 meter butterfly earlier this trial. Claire Watson, 16 years of age, lives in the Seattle area. Trains there, she was on the World Junior Team. That was my first Canadian Nationals and team. I was really nervous, but the team was so accepting of me. Ashley Massey has been dropping time every single time she hits the water. 18 years of age out of Point Claire. Phil Gavrick is her coach, doing a great job at Point Claire. Brecken Gormley, 20 years of age. Almonte, Ontario, which is over by Nepean, Ottawa. Was a competitive kayaker before she took up swimming. Katie Forrester, 20 years of age out of Oakville. Swims out of Markham now, goes to school in Indiana. She was fourth at the Pan Am Games. Mabel Zavros, 24 years old, I mentioned before. Her identical twin swam for many, many years. She had both of her shoulders operated on this fall. It's amazing she's here now. And the one that I would argue almost everybody in the building is here to see, Summer McIntosh, 17 years of age. This, there's mom there, Jill, husband Greg. This is the event that mom Jill swam at the Olympic Games in 1984 and won a bronze medal at the Commonwealth Games in 1986. It's the event that Summer did not swim at the Olympic Games because they felt she didn't have the strength or the training behind her. She just did the freestyles in Tokyo. The next year, she won the world championships in this event, the 200 butterfly. Fastest time in the world this year, so far, is 204.8. Summer has been a 205 plus. She has the second fastest time in the world, so far this year. Take your marks. And we're underway in the women's 200 meter butterfly, the middle of the pool. Katie Forrester was second this event last year, is in lane three, then McIntosh, then Zavaros in five, then Gormley is in six, and we expected to see Summer McIntosh go to the lead, and boom, she does. Well, her time is about five or six seconds faster than all the others, so she's gonna be way, way out in front, but she's used to doing that. She's used to racing the clock. She does that in almost every meet she goes to, every international meet, even there aren't that many competitors that can go with her. She's out in 27.4, which is pretty rich at this particular point. That's faster than she's ever been before, so she's looking at awfully fast at this early part of the race. It's four laps, and I mentioned this in her individual medley. She's got a very, very shallow swim, and what I mean by that, there's very little amplitude. There's not a lot up and down. Look at the other swimmers. A lot of them have big high, they come up for a high breath, they dive down. She's very flat in the water, which means less resistance, more efficient. You've just gotta be very flexible in your shoulders and lower back. Touches 100 at 58.5. Zavaros is second in 101.85. Summer McIntosh is flying again. You can see there the split was 31-1. Well, she can maintain her splits. That's a 102 coming back. That'll be an incredibly, incredibly fast time. Well, this is a really good field of swimmers, Byron, and Summer McIntosh has got a four or five body length lead. So how do you how do you get a swimmer like this to keep showing up and working hard? Her coach, her coach Brent Arcade down in Sarasota does a great job. Even took her, even took her to a, to a high altitude training camp in the fall for a different kind of a stimulation. Summer McIntosh is on another one tonight. She is flying. The world record might be out of reach, 201.8, but the Canadian record is hers at 204.06. 15 meters to go. She is starting to slow a bit, but she's still pushing. Here she comes, just to the wall, 204.33, just outside the Canadian record. Here comes the battle for second, and it looked like Zavaros got there, and then Gormley. 204.33, fastest time in the world this year.
Well, and what Summer said, there's your silver medalist, Mabel Zavros. Results are official. Summer McIntosh adding the 200 butterfly. Summer said, each meet, I've been getting better at getting stronger as the meet progresses. I'm better at handling the fatigue, and she handled it pretty well here, coming off that 400 meter IM world record. Now she's right here, a little, little shaking her head a bit, a little disappointed, wanted to break her best time. But we have to remember that summer's prize is Paris. Right. A lot of the athletes at this level, because she knows she's making the team no problem, she came into this in pretty hard work. My understanding is she did five, she did 10 workouts over about a six day period right before the trial. So this is a very impressive swim right now in the middle of hard work. And yet another great swim for Summer McIntosh.